Hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today we're going to have a look at how we can create a new menu in WordPress. So I'm going to show you two different methods here that are both equally user friendly and super easy to use. Now if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and this will greatly help grow this channel. Okay, so let's get no further and let's see how we can do that. website and e-commerce website and as you can see we have the menu here on top and we have a few tabs already so we have home or products about contact and if you hover on the count here you can see there's even a drop down menu with two different tabs two sub menu options my account in cart so I'm going to tell you how to change all these settings and even create your own menu so for this we go back to our WordPress dashboard and for that we're going to go into appearance and then menus and as you can see, we have the exact same menu structure as we have on our website. So we have home, all products, about, contact, account. And it's the exact same here, home, all products, about, contact, and account. So, as you can see, those two here are sub uh, menus, options. So if we go here, then you can see these are indented. So, how can you actually modify these? It's very easy, actually. It's just a simple drag and drop. So if I want to take this one, for instance, and move it around, you can put it, um, you can change the position up and down, just like this one, we have my account on top, and count at the bottom, so I can move that around, and if I save now, and I go back to our menu, our website, I hover on the top, now the count is on top, is first, and then my account is second. Now if I want to move this around, and actually, I could indent, as you can see, there's an indentation here, and now again with this one, if I save this now, and we go back to our website, and you can see the income, and then menu, set menu, set set menu. So this is how it works, basically. This is how this, it is structured. So if I go back here, and I'm going to put against the edge, as you can see, it's lined up with the others, and I save this now, Go back here and then refresh. As you can see, this is a, a tab on its own, and this has a sub menu on just the one exactly like here, as you can see. If I want to move this around again, all you have to do is drag and drop, and as you can see, there's an indentation which means, which means it's these two are sub menus compared to this one. So if I save this again and refresh. And we're back to square one exactly the way it was. Okay, guys, so if you look on the left hand side now, let me show you quickly. And we're right here, so this is the one. So we have all these menus here, different options. As you can see, we have pages, we have posts, we have custom links, we have categories, and WooCommerce and points. So if you have WooCommerce installed, as you can see here, which is an e-commerce plugin, you may be able to use it as well. So let me show you very quickly which are the different options here. So these are pages, internal pages. So if you click, if you click on View All, you see all the pages that are on your website. So this is the equivalent as, as clicking on pages. If I click on pages here, just let me show you, these are all our pages, basically. So if you go back to our menu, you have to access all of your pages right here. So if I wanted to add, let's say, a checkout page right here in my menu option, all I have to do basically is click this and then add to menu. So let's say if I wanted to add this one here, checkout page, add to menu, and as you can see, it's been added automatically in the last position here. And now it's up to you to reposition it where you want it. So maybe you want it here in between, or maybe you want it here as a, a sub uh, option underneath the account. So if I was to click save now, and I want to go to back to our website and refresh, as you can see now we have we are connected with a third option which is checkout. So if I click on this, it will bring us immediately to the checkout page. So which is very, very easy to do indeed as you can see. And then let's post. So if you have a blog and you have all your posts, you can have links directly to your post in here as well. So custom links, 
basically custom links is if you want to, for instance, add a link to your Facebook page, for instance, or an external website, or maybe your, your LinkedIn page or something like that. So all you have to do basically is put the address here. So let me try here just mrwebreview.com. I'm going to put here custom link, just like this. So add to menu, and now we have a custom link. So I'm just going to put the custom link just between about and contact, and then we can save. And if we go back to menu now, as you can see, there's custom link. If I click on this, this will bring us to Mr. Web Reviews website. So there you go. Now, if you wanted this link to open up in another window, so if you don't want people to leave your website, for instance, if it's a social media account or something like this, if you go back to this and you click on the custom link, you should normally be able to select your target. So if it's a new window or within the same window. And as you can see, there's no option here at the moment. And the reason is sometimes on some WordPress installation, you have to enable it first. So if you scroll back up, as you can see here, we have a screen options. If you open this, you have a drop down menu, and you're going to just tick this box, link target. And then close this. And if we scroll down again, as you can see, we have open link in a new tab. And now you tick this box here. So save menu. And then if we go back to our website and refresh again, if we click on that link, as you can see, we open up in a new window altogether. So this is very handy indeed, because once you have people on your website, you don't want them to leave your website, you want them to stay there. So if you want to, to actually have a custom link to another website, you might want them to go actually and open up a new window instead. So this is one of the options again. So what do we have? We have categories here. So these, as you can see, we have an e-commerce website here. So these are not the product categories. These are blog post categories, basically. So if you hover here on top, you can see post, all post, add new, and then categories. So basically, these ones are the same as uh, those categories here, with the same uh, structure, basically. Now, if you wanted to display WooCommerce for your e-commerce platform here, plugin, WooCommerce um, categories, then again, you have to click on screen options here on top, and then select the product categories, which are different, you know. So if you click on this now, and then close this, as you can see, we now have an extra tab, product categories. And you can see we have t-shirts and mugs. So if we go back to our website, so just let me click it, refresh. If we go into all products, we have mugs and t-shirts. As you can see, mugs, this is one category, and t-shirts, that's the second one. So we only have two different categories. So how can we add this to our menu now? So let me give it this. Let me show you quickly how to do it as well. So if you click on this, all you have to do is click the remove tab here. And then you can do the same with this maybe. You can move it with that. Let me show you. So click on that, remove. Click on that, remove. Click on that, remove. And I'm going to remove this one as well. So that's it, all done. So we can save all those in between. So let's go and add product categories now. So let's say we have all products here, as you can see. But maybe you want to break this down and have a drop down menu that says your t shirt and mugs. So all we do is just take those two, add them to menu, and now we're going to drag and drop them underneath. All product and make sure there's an indentation here. And then again, here with mugs. Save. And then let's go back to our website. And as you can see, we now have all products. And then you can select among those two categories now. You can say either t shirts or mugs. So if I click on t shirts, all I see is t shirts. And if I click on mugs, all I have access to, all I see from this is the mugs. Let me show you another method of doing it. There's another way of doing it. You can go to appearance and customize. So regardless of the theme you have installed on your website, you'll be able to customize your theme in which way you can click on customize here. So appearance, 
customize and you will be pointed back to this menu here. And as you can see, one of the tabs is menu. So you can click on this and this is your main menu. Click on that. And as you can see, basically, is the exact same structure is just a different uh, layout. Basically, it's a bit different here, but it's the exact same structure. And as you can see, we have a preview here of our menu on the right hand side, and this is our menu right here. So we can reorder, or you can add items from here. So if you really wanted to reorder, just click on this. So instead of like the previous method I showed you, instead of dragging and drop, it's uh, you can use an arrows basically, you know. So if I put this up again, we have up. And if you wanted it to be indented, all you have to do is click on this one. And now as you can see, at home, about as a sub menu. And if I bring this back, it's a home and about two separate types, as you can see. And once you're happy with this, click done, and that's it. And you can add items simply by clicking Add Items button here. And you can select among all these options. So this is basically about the same as the previous method, just a different layout again. So if I click back on this now to exalt and do OK. And once you're happy with those changes, all you have to click is Publish. And that's it. And then you can click on the X here to exit of this window. And you're back to your WordPress dashboard. Now, let's say you wanted to create a brand new menu and forget about this one altogether. As you can see here, edit your menu below or create a new menu. You have an option here. So, all you have to do basically is click on this and give it a name. So, I'm going to call it new menu. Very simple. Create menu. And we're going to set this as our primary menu. As you can see, completely set to the main menu. So this is the previous one we had. So if you go into the main menu here, select. So this is the actual menu. And as you can see, this box is ticked because this is a primary menu. And if we go back to our new menu, as you can see here, select. This is not ticked. Now if you tick this and you save it, as you see, we have no uh, elements here at all. So if we refresh on our website, we have an empty menu now, obviously, you know. So how do we go about creating a new menu and adding new tabs? It's very simple. So we might want to add pages first. So we're going to add a home page about us. And maybe let's say a contact page. We have a contact page here, like this one here. So add this. So now we have home, about, and contact. So save menu. And let's go back to our website and refresh. As you can see, we now have three tabs. About and contact. And then let's say we wanted to add product categories. So we can create a custom link, for instance, and we could have a product categories. So we have t shirt and mugs. So we add this, save menu, refresh, and you can see we have t shirt and mugs. Now let's say you wanted this to be a part of the category, and this would be two subcategories. So you have all products and then t shirts and mugs underneath it. So, how do you go about that? So, what we need to do basically is for us to add the shop page, so the main shop page, which is this one here. We're going to add this and we're going to rename it. So, I'm going to put all products and then save. And I'm going to reorder this and the t shirt. I'm going to indent this and do not the same. So drag and drop basically you know, to the left, to the right, sorry, and then save. And then if we go back to our website and refresh once more, and as you can see now we have home, about contact, and all products. And if I hover here, this is broken down into subcategories t shirts and mugs. So if I click on all products, I see all the products. And if I click on, let's say, t shirts. All I see is t shirts and on mugs, all I see is mugs. Well, there you go, guys. That's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.